country is trying to achieve today is kind of a hard question to answer. Well, I'll tell you, I want to be a president who sets goals again. I want to set a goal of quality, affordable health care for every single American man, woman, and child. Now, I know how hard that will be because I still have the scars to show for trying it back in 1993 and 94. But I'll tell you something, I'm proud.
during the Cuban Missile Crisis. He decided it was necessary to find the best diplomats and statesmen we had in the nation and send them to meet with the world leaders all around the world. And he went to former Secretary of State Dean Acheson. And he sent him to France to meet with Charles de Gaulle to tell him how vital, how vital and how dangerous the situation was in the missile showdown with Russia over Cuba. And Dean Anderson, the Secretary of State, explained the situation to Charles de Gaulle. And when he finished, Dean Anderson, sitting in front of the President's desk, leaned down to pick up the reconnaissance photos he had showing the President of France what the Russians had already done in Cuba and how they were going to place nuclear weapons there. And he said, Mr. President, let me show you the proof. And he leaned down to hand them to the President de Gaulle. And de Gaulle put his hand up and said, no, there is no need to show me proof. I know the President of the United States. And I know he would never mislead me on a matter of war. The last point I'll make to you is this. Folks, we're spending $120 billion this year in the war in Iraq. $120 billion. We are giving people who have an average income of $1.42 million a year, we're giving them an $85 billion a year tax break. A tax break they do not need, a tax break they did not ask for, and a tax break they would not miss tomorrow. Imagine what I can do or anyone can do as your president with $200 billion a year we're not spending on the war in that one tax cut. For $29 billion on the way to national health insurance, I can insure every single solitary child in America. I can guarantee to you that every American will have catastrophic health insurance, drastically reducing the cost of health insurance provided by employers.